Hey yo, kiss my fucking dick, man. Two phone seat, hey seat, up in this bitch, man. I hope y'all niggas enjoyed this little story time I got for y'all. This was back in my glory days. Not that I'm still, I'm still living in my glory days, my prime time. What you doing, saying? But make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you're new. Join the gang. Follow me on Twitter, add me on Snap, at, follow me on Instagram, all that shit. Grab me something to eat. That's a funny ass story, and I got hella videos dropped for y'all. I just be working like a motherfucker, bro. I'm a working ass nigga. But uh, without further ado, enjoy my nigga. Kiss my fucking dick, bitch. Look, my niggas, y'all niggas gather around the campfire, grab you some fucking snacks, grab you a bev, my nigga, grab you some dinner while you listen to this story time, my nigga, because this shit is about funny as fuck. It's not my funniest story, but it's top, top five, all right? So, look, this shit happened like two years ago, my nigga. I was like 18 in high school. I was, I had, I was graduating in like two months, I think. So... That's just to let y'all know where I was at doing this shit. Because you got to be 21 or older to get into a strip club because they serve alcohol and shit. And they not going to be checking your IDs and that bitch. So let's start it off like this. This the, the, Before I found out I was going to a strip club, I was out on a date with this girl, right? So we had went like bowling and shit. And then like we had to get, a pizza, get some pizza and shit. We had went to like this little pizza spot or whatever called Johnny's. We over there and shit. And my mom had texted me. My mom's friend's son was in town. He's from, uh, he was from Charlotte and he was in the military and shit. So he had came in town and shit and he was over at my mom's house. And she was like, oh, so-and-so's son's is, is, uh, son is over here. He's trying to go, you know, pipe up. He's trying to go get lit. So I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what, what are y'all talking about? So she was like, we about to go to the strip club. She was like, you want to come? I'm like, yo, stop capping. Like, if y'all niggas know, y'all know I'm cool as well. My mom, me and my mom got a cool ass relationship. So she was like, I'm dead ass. Like, you trying to go to a strip club or what? I'm like, hell yeah. I thought they was playing, bruh. So I'm over here trying to end this date with this girl, like, quick as fuck. So I'm like, yeah, let's. I was like, all right, it's about late. I'm about to take you to the crib and shit. So I took her to the crib and I go home. And so I'm talking to my mom and shit. I'm like, now, nah, what are y'all talking about, strip club? She was like, we trying to go to the strip club now. You making us late. You trying to go or what? So I'm like, yeah. So nigga had changed my fit and shit. Cause I ain't wanna be nigga, I ain't wanna be looking like no little kid in that fucking strip club, bruh. So I threw on like a little a hat and shit, some ripped jeans, and like this little baseball tee or whatever with some uh vans or whatever. So I'm rocking that shit and we on the way to the strip club. Mind you, I ain't got no money. I got like I don't got no cash, bruh. Like I was not prepared for this shit at all, my nigga. And that shit's gonna bite me in my ass later on in the story. So look, Mo. We go all the way to Atlanta. We in the strip club. And she's like, all right, so this house is going to go down, boom. Because you know when you in the military, you got a military ID. So me and him, we both we both big as hell. And we both, you know, like chocolate, my nigga. So he used his military ID. And I use his regular ID. I'm walking in that bitch with my hat down, like, like past my eyes. And I'm like, and so I get to the door. And well, let me do it like this first. First, my cousin, I'm going to call him my cousin. My cousin went in first with military ID. She was like, just wait like five minutes before you go in. So he was like, I bet. So he texts, he texts, he was like, all right, man, it's like, you know, it's cool in here and shit. So he was like, y'all can come in. So my mom went first. So she went in, boom, no problem. So I go in, the nigga, he looking at me, he like, he was like, what's your name? So I, I say my, I say my cousin's name. I say his real name and shit. So he was like, all right. So I'm trying to walk through. He was like, hold, what you think you doing? I'm like, nigga, I'm trying to go in the club. I'm trying to get some ass. So he's like, bro, we got to pat you down and shit. So I'm like, oh my God, nigga. I'm nervous and shit. I'm shaking and shit. Nigga, I can hear the music and shit from outside. Nigga, I smell the gas and everything. Motherfuckers are smoking and shit in there. I hear bitches laughing and giggling. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. Pat me down so I can get in the club. Nigga got them feeling around my legs, feeling around my dick and shit. I'm like, hold up, player. Like, bro, don't touch my balls. Like, he, he was like, all right, bro. I'm trying to make sure you ain't got no strap, no tool on you. So I'm like, nigga, why, 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 would, I, why would I do that? Like, I'm over here trying to get some bitches. I, I, I wasn't even, I was just like, bro, what you doing, bro? And he was like, bro, we got to pat you down and shit, so you make sure you ain't got, like, no no tool on you, no strap, none of that. So I'm like, all right. In my head, I'm like, bro, don't touch my dick, bro, because, nigga, I do got a Glock, and that shit got a dick. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, don't touch my dick. So he, you know, he pat me down and shit, and he like, all right, you good to go. We get in the club, boom. Nigga, I get in the club, and I start shaking like a fucking stripper, nigga. Like, all of a sudden, I just get cold, like, chills going through my body. I'm nervous as shit. So I'm looking around the nigga. I'm seeing strippers and shit everywhere, bro. I'm talking about bitches in their little, but I'm going to call them bikinis, lingerie. Uh, they in their little bikini lingerie and shit. I'm seeing bitches on the poles. They shaking. I'm seeing all type of synthetic asses and shit, my nigga. These bitches are throwing ass. Bitches is goddamn giving lap dances and shit. I see, and this is the first time I ever experienced. If y'all niggas listen to Future, 
Y'all know how that nigga be making like strip club music and shit, but he be depressed at the same time and shit. Nigga, I'm like, how the fuck you in the strip club, but you still depressed? Nigga, this is the first time I actually saw depressed ass niggas in the strip club, my nigga. Like, I see niggas in there with their head down. They got, they throwing money, but like, nigga, they not happy. Like, bro, you can tell they going through some shit. And I'm like, bro, why the fuck is these niggas going through that shit? I'm going to tell y'all that at the end of the story, too. So, look, me and my cousin, we sat at the table. I don't know where my mom went. All I know is my mom, she was like the A-10 right there. She was like, get your cash, and, you know, you on your own. She was like, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, be, I'm not going to babysit you. She was like, you, you on your own. You and your cousin, you on your own. He a grown-ass man, so he taught me to rope some shit. He was like, look, bro, I got you. Just follow my lead. I got you. So my, I don't know where the fuck my mom went, Mo. I'm going to keep it. I don't know where the fuck she went. I know she went in the club. I, I saw her once out that whole time I was in the club. And no, twice. The the uh, the second time I seen her, it was at the end. Of, I'm going to tell y'all again. I'm going to tell you at the end. So I seen her up. She's up by the stage. The bitch is shaking ass. She's throwing money. I'm like, damn, my mom piped as fuck. So I'm trying to go up there. He like, bro, sit your ass down, my nigga. He was like, you, what you so happy for? Sit your, sit your hyper ass down. So he had to get me right and shit. Because, nigga, I'm happy. This is my first time being in the strip club, my nigga. So I'm sitting down and like, nigga, I'm looking around and shit. And I'm like, and I had told my, I had put on my story. I'm like, I'm about to go into a strip club. And niggas like, bro, you capping. They like, say you swear to God. I'm like, nigga, I'm dead ass. Because I always be trolling. So niggas thought I was bullshitting. But nigga, whole time I was dead to fuck for real. So... I get in the strip club, I'm like, look, bro, I gotta get some proof so these niggas know I'm not bullshit. Like, I'm in the strip club for real. So, this is the video I took right here. Nigga, and this is what, like, my snap started going off. Bro, my snap started going off, mo. So, my cousin, he was like, he was like, bro, what are you doing? Like, why is you recording? He was like, nigga, you cannot record in the strip club, my nigga. Unless, like, you pulling that shit off real slick. Like, like say you throwing money and some shit. You got someone recording. That's the only But you can't be sitting in here recording, my nigga, because it's like, it defeats the whole purpose of a strip club because nobody knows what's inside of the strip club. He was like, nigga, they gonna kick you out. So I'm like, look, mo, like, get off my dick, bro. I'm trying to show motherfuckers I'm 18 years old. I'm a young nigga in the fucking strip club, my nigga. Like, I'm I'm trying to show my niggas I'm, I'm out here. Like, I'm really doing, like, I'm really in the field, my nigga. Like, kiss my dick. Like, I'm really out here. So he like, look, mo. He was like, man, get your money. He was like, if a bitch come up to you, if you don't want her to dance on you, say, nah, skedaddle. So he was like, tell that bitch to skedaddle if you don't want her to dance on you. If you want her to dance on you, tell her to come, you know, come drop that shit on you. So... He went and he went to the stage and shit. He started throwing ones and shit at the strippers. Nigga, I'm not gonna hold you. I ain't know how much money to take out the ATM. So I took like 50 out in the ATM, my nigga. Nigga, that's too, that's not enough. Some niggas may say 50 is enough. For me, nigga, I, I like I like to go, I like to go hard. I, you wanna go big or you wanna go home? Nigga, so next time I go to the strip club, I'm taking me like 300 out minimum. And I'm putting that shit in my bag. All ones, my nigga. And I'm throwing that bitch. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm throwing that shit. But nigga, I felt restricted. I had $50 and it's like, Nigga, all that shit was spent in one dance. <laughs> now, let me tell y'all niggas. So, look. This is where we get into the part. All the strippers is walking around and shit. I'm sitting here looking cool, calm and collective, looking cool as shit. My head down, you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to look cool the whole time. I'm, I'm happy as, I'm happy and I'm horny as fuck. My dick hard. Because I see all these bitches. I see all these fat booty bitches in the strip club, my nigga. And this is my thing. This was even my mentality when I was a young When I used to watch porn and shit, I was like, if I could, if I see a bitch like this in school, why would I want to watch that? I'm trying to fantasize. So I wouldn't watch no little titty bitches, no little booty bitches. I'm watching all thick, big titty, big Tata Arena type bitches. And that's how I met am in the strip club. So I'm sitting in that bitch, and this tall, light-skinned, Amber Rose-looking bitch, anorexic, Amber Rose-looking type bitch gonna come to me. She's like, hey. She was like, I'm, I'm gonna make up a name. I don't remember her name. She's like, hey, my name is Cinnamon, blah, blah, blah. She's like, you looking real nice today. And I'm like, appreciate that, appreciate that. She's like, you wanna dance? I'm like, nah, I'm good. She's like, damn, so you don't like me? You don't wanna dance? I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, skedaddle. So she's like, oh, you rude. And she started laughing, but the whole time, I'm like, bitch, get the fuck out of my face. Like, you got no cheeks. You got no Tata Arenas. Like, get the fuck out of my face. So I'm sitting here looking calm and collective again, and this is where the money, this is where the magic happens, bro. It's this one stripper that will change my life forever, mo. Her name is Houston. I will never forget her name. This is her real name. She had red hair and everything. This thick ass bitch, bro, named Houston. Oh my fucking God. This bitch Houston gonna come up to me. And I was about to turn her down because she looked skinny from the front. I don't I wasn't saying I wanted no fat bitch, but I wanted a thick thigh, thick booty, big titty bitch on my dick. So I'm sitting here like, bro, this bitch not passing the eye test, and then. She, I, bro, I, you know, I, I do have a, a PhD in asthmatology and whoology, so I was like, no, my ass senses start, my ass senses start uh, tingling. So I'm like, no, let me, let me see what this bitch working with. So I'm like, yeah, let me, let me see what you working with. 
So this is what all the strippers do. I swear to God. She started shaking her one leg, bruh, until I started throwing some money. I said, ooh, that shit was fat as fuck on me. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, bruh, long story short, this bitch danced on me for like a a, a, a total of like 20 songs, my nigga. And mind you, the song, the dan the songs is like $5 a song. Some crazy shit, bruh. She danced on me for a long ass time. She showed me her pussy. She showed me her tatarina. She put her titties all in my face. She put her pussy in my face. And she ain't putting it on my face. She putting it in my face. And I'm sitting here like, damn, she must like me. So, nigga, like, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go. Because, like, nigga, I ain't even get to explore the club. Like, this is my second bitch that came up to me. And, like, bro, it's like, nigga, you would have thought this was my bitch or some shit, bro. Like, she was dancing on me for, like, a good two hours, bro. I swear to God. So, now it's like, now we, like, we trying to go. She was like... She was like, all right, that's going to be like 200. I was like, what? And I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My cousin came just in time. So my cousin, he was like, what's the problem, Mo? So I'm like, bro, she's saying it's like 200 to pay her. And he was like, 200, my nigga, damn. He was like, how long was she dance dancing? I was like, how long you dance on me? She was like, for like 20 songs. And he was like, he was like 20 songs, bro, what is your problem? He was like, nigga, it's two songs and that's max. Nigga, I, I, I don't know. This is my first time in here. Y'all niggas left me at... I thought she liked me. So, everybody in here like, bro, what the fuck? So, my mom come. And my mom is really with the shits. So, my mom like, what the fuck going on? So, I'm like, mom, she trying to say I got to pay $200. I, I tell my mom, like, my mom's supposed to save me. So, I'm like, mom, she said I got to pay her $200 because she danced with me for, like, 20 songs. And my mom like, 200 She was like, you ain't getting 200 but you can get 150 and so the, the, the stripper Houston, she sitting on my lap and shit. So she was like, no, how about I just get the bodyguard? And my mom was like, go ahead and get the bodyguard. I know the bodyguard. So I'm like, oh my God, bruh. So they go in and look for the bodyguard. Mind you, the whole time Houston sitting on my lap because she don't want me to leave. Because nigga, that's her, that's her rent. Like, I got to pay her rent. So Houston sitting on my lap and shit. Ass soft as fuck on my dick. And I'm still rock hard. And I think she knew that shit. Cause she knew. So she started asking me all these questions, Mo. She started saying, Where you from? What school you go to? Like, you looking real cute today. Bro, she trying to butter me up and shit. Like, she's not, she know what the fuck she doing, my nigga. So she's doing all this shit, trying to butter me up and shit. Then this bitch said, I gotta pee. So I'm like, Okay, so go pee. Get, get up off me and go pee. So she's still shaking her leg and shit. She's like, oh my God, I really got to pee. I'm like, yo, I swear to fucking God on everything I fucking love. If this bitch piss on me, nigga, I'm going to beat her ass. And I don't put my hands on women, but bitch, if you piss on me, I, I, nah, you're not from the R. Kelly me. Like, I'm, I'll beat your ass for real. Like, on Spider-Man, I'll beat your ass for real, bitch, if you piss on me. So I'm like, you look like, go pee and shit. So, nigga, I'm starting to get a, pa a panic attack, my nigga, because I'm like, bro, I, don't, I only got $50, and I'm not finna go pull out another whole hundred dollars, because, nigga, it's like $10 to pull your money out the ATM in the strip club. So I'm like, bro, look, this bitch got me fucked up. So my cousin, he gave me like, he gave me like a hundred. So that's like one hundred right there. My mom, she was like, man, look, here, take take the money. So my mom, she, my mom, I kid you not, my mom picked up the money, right? And she threw it at the bitch. <laughs> my mom picked up the money and threw it at the bitch. And my mom's like, here, had that shit. And she threw it at her. The bitch tried to, he used to try to bug my mom, but my mom wasn't with that. I, I got out like, look, man, yo ass fat, but you not finna put your hands on my dukes. So she, I was like, pick this money up and get the fuck on. So she got the money and shit. And nigga, that's, that's it really. Nigga, like, she, she damn near finessed me, bruh. I mean, Houston, I still got love for you, my baby, but you ain't have to do me like that. Like, I was really just a young whippersnapper, a young Ricky out in the streets out here trying to get some, some cheeks. No, like, no twerk shit. Like, you was really, like, you really changed my life. Like, baby, like, if you ever see this story time, Houston, you know who I am, baby. You know, you know me. You know my body. Like, give me another chance. Like, I want to fuck. I want to fuck. Now, y'all niggas maybe sound, oh, you want to fuck a stripper, bro. Strippers is, stri I, I, I got respect for strippers. They be out here hustling. You want to know why they be hustling? Because they be finessing niggas out here. It's niggas out here that is paying these bitches 500, 200, 300 a night to shake their ass, to show them they pussy, to show them they can look, but they can't touch. Now, I was touching all over Houston. That's why I thought she liked me. She was letting me do whatever the fuck out. If I wanted to, I probably could have got a private session. I probably could have fucked. I'm not going to hold you. My cousin, he had him a private session. Shit. But, bro, y'all got to, bro, y'all got to uh, understand these things about strippers, bro. They not bad people. They not hoes out here. They, they out here, you know, trying to get it how they live. You know, they trying to make money. But it's e it's an easy way to make money. Like, niggas is horny as fuck out here. And then niggas is really depressed as fuck. Like, niggas was dead ass in the strip club, sad as hell, my nigga. Like, it, it didn't make sense to me at first. But now that I'm older, I'm like, damn, I see why niggas was depressed and, and shit in the strip club. But uh, I didn't want this shit to be long. I said, damn, I just started the story time. And it's already at 15 minutes. But uh, I got a little My Team video dropping for y'all niggas tomorrow.
Uh, and then I got another story time. The next story time, bro, that should be on the first time I ate pussy. I guarantee you, that is my funniest story I ever got. That's the funniest story I got for now. Maybe. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, make sure y'all like the video, all that shit, and, uh, kiss my fucking dick. I'm out. Skedaddle, nigga.